yellow state, terrifying supervolosion, magma movement, steamboat geyser eruption, and new crater discovery. Social media footage showing large numbers of animals fleeing Yellowstone National Park has sparked concern, but officials say it's, quote, misinformation. One of America's most stunning national parks is a stunningly beautiful place visited by thousands of people each year, but social media has been abuzz with videos of herds of animals fleeing Yellowstone. This has sparked fears of a possible volcanic eruption, as people question whether the animals know something humans don't. Yellowstone National Park boasts a vast and diverse animal biodiversity, with mammals roaming the park, hundreds of bird species soaring overhead, and its rivers home to several species of fish. National and international visitors have flocked to the area in hopes of seeing some of the amazing creatures that live there. However, in recent days, nature's habits seem to have been thrown off balance, with animals fleeing the area, with some fearing that the Yellowstone supervolcano is about to erupt. One TikToker said buffalo were leaving Yellowstone in large numbers, while a comment read, a major Yellowstone volcano eruption is expected. Footage was taken in Yellowstone appearing to show animals leaving the park in groups and herds. Desperately trying to get away from the national park for unknown reasons, seemingly desperate to get away from it. Officials now say social media is spreading misinformation. This has led to widespread speculation that the massive volcano beneath Yellowstone National Park is about to erupt, something that hasn't happened in thousands of years, but would be catastrophic. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted at 11.05 a.m. Monday in Yellowstone National Park. This eruption was the second in 2025 and 69 days since its last eruption on February 3rd. After entering a very active period, with more than 20 eruptions annually between 2018 and 2021, Steamboat's eruption frequency has steadily decreased over the past four years. Scientists believe the geyser is slowly entering a period of extended dormancy, as has happened in the past. Steamboat geyser may be taking longer than usual to subside, or it may be showing visitors and scientists its new normal. There's no way to predict what normal is for a geyser, said a scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Steamboat appears to be subsiding, but its activity has remained low for the past several years. Eruptions every few months may be the norm for steamboat. Steamboat geyser eruptions can last more than an hour and shoot mineral-rich water more than 120 meters into the air, high enough to splash mud and water onto parked vehicles and nearby parking lots. Its behavior has always been erratic, but scientists have observed a trend over the past century. Frequent periods of eruption, followed by decades of dormancy. The geyser is never completely dormant, but the periods between eruptions, just a few days during its active period, can stretch to nearly a decade. A similar pattern was observed in the 1960s and 1980s, when steamboat frequently erupted for short periods before subsiding and erupting only once every few years. The massive Yellowstone caldera lies beneath parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. But new analysis finds that magma storage in the western part of the caldera is depleting, while the viscous rhyolite magma reservoir has shifted northeastward. Although the storage space beneath northeastern Yellowstone could hold enough magma for a significant eruption, forming a caldera.
Yellowstone has experienced three caldera-forming eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, with the last eruption occurring approximately 640,000 years ago. These eruptions are named for spewing lava in such large volumes that they collapse the roof of the magma chamber beneath the volcano, forming a basin-shaped caldera. Smaller eruptions have occurred. Previous research seismic data to assess magma storage beneath Yellowstone and found evidence of magma beneath the entire caldera. However, seismic data can be affected by the temperature, pressure, and volume of the magma, making it difficult to determine the actual spatial distribution of the magma. In a new study published in Nature, researchers used a methodology known as magnetotellurics to more accurately map the extent of magma beneath Yellowstone. Magnetotellurics instruments measure electrical and magnetic variations in the Earth's crust. The liquid portion of magma, known as magma melt, tends to be more conductive than the surrounding rock. Lake, steamboat. 